Uh, first of all, I want to thank the witnesses for being here today uh, to discuss this very important topic that's facing our nation. Uh, to you, ma'am, Ms. Nobles, I am so sorry for your loss. We failed you. I'm so sorry that, we, that you lost your daughter, and I can assure you that you sitting here today means that she lives through you, and we will do everything in our power to make sure that her voice will be heard for the future to stop this foolishness from happening again. Thank you for being here, ma'am. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You might be wondering what this photo is behind me. This is a photo of a room in a plush New York City tent made specifically for migrants. There's Xboxes and flat screens everywhere, and every creature comfort that you could think of is in this tent. This tent is actually nicer uh, than my room at West Point. I wish I had this stuff. My colleagues on the left often talk about the long, arduous journey to get to this country, and I ask you this. Why would illegal immigrants not make the journey to this country if this was going to be the end result? In this facility, they get free room and board, flat screens, three meals a day, free internet, and phones. This is the carrot that is bringing millions of illegal aliens to this country at a time when this country can least afford it. For the Democrats, migrants jump to the top of the list while Americans are consistently left behind. Mayor Eric Adams never thought the border crisis would make it to New York City, and now even he has to admit that the Biden open border policies have created a, quote, real life humanitarian crisis. I say again, a real life humanitarian crisis. Welcome to the party, sir. Let me show you a real life humanitarian crisis and it's America's cities due to Democrat policies and America's cities have been crumbling long before President Biden opened the border. And now that every town that we know of, including New York City, is a border town, it's about to get worse. This is Philadelphia. These are not illegal immigrants. These are American cities currently living in abject poverty. And this situation is about to get worse. Greetings from Gary, Indiana. Or is that Eastern Ukraine? It's hard to say, but I can guarantee you that if this were Eastern Ukraine, the government would be printing as much money as possible to help them, but not our own American citizens. Not so good for the people of Gary, Indiana. And this is not the Dust Bowl or the Great Depression. This is yesterday. And our situation is about to get worse. It's been three months since a train derailment in East Palestine, and the people of East Palestine don't have the necessary resources to rebuild, and the community can't even drink clean water today. And like Philadelphia, Gary, Indiana, East Palestine, Ohio, is a part of the forgotten America the Americans left behind as Democrats provide the American dream to illegal aliens and not to our fellow Americans. I've got news for you. It's going to continue to get worse. We have San Mateo, California, in California's 15th Congressional District. If some of my colleagues would spend more time in their districts instead of inside the Beltway, they would see the destruction that their policies are causing their own districts and their own towns. And perhaps then they'd have a different position on the southern border and it's about to get worse. But wait, there's more. This is Redwood City, California. Or is it Tent City, California? Does this look like a country that's thriving? Does this look like a country that's equipped to handle a massive influx of millions more into this country illegally? I think not. The situation is only going to get worse. This is the death of the American dream, and it starts with the carrot, as I discussed in the very beginning, and ends in abject poverty and despair for Americans. It ends in us losing control of our sovereign border. It ends with cartels running our sovereign border and killing our young people. It ends in fentanyl overdoses. It ends in crime. I'm a military guy by trade. I've never seen a derelict of duty like this in my entire life. This is insanity. And while we owe the American people an apology, we also owe them to do our damn jobs. Thank you so much for being here, and with that, I yield back. Thank you, ma'am.
God bless you. Gentlemen.